Good morning, Leo, Eli, Jojo, PJ, Emma Ray, Iris, Titus, Ben, P, and Talia. It's Tuesday with Pastor Pappy. If I didn't say your name, that doesn't mean Pappy isn't glad to see you watching. Those are just the 10 kids who always call me Pappy. I'm in the back seat of Granny's car. We're going to help her buy her brand new car. They're over there somewhere in the front of the car. Say hi. <laughs> Last Tuesday, we learned about having bold faith. Today, we'll talk about going to God when we or someone we know needs healing. God's the first one we should go to for just about everything, especially when someone's sick and we want God to make them better. That's why our faith fact today is, I believe God can heal. Our incredible true story today is about an important man named Naaman. He didn't really know God, but he, he needed to be healed of an awful skin disease called leprosy. Someone said he should go to God's prophet to be healed. And we're going to find out what happened. But first, let's pray and invite God into our Bible time. Dear God, thank you for always being there with us. Help us to remember to go to you whenever somebody needs to be healed. Amen. Here comes Dash. Hey everyone, my name is Dash, and this is the Kids Bible Vlog! So lately, my grandpa has been really sick. Mom said that the doctors have done everything they know to do, and that we should just pray and ask God for a miracle. So we got together last night, and my dad looked over at me and said, Son, why don't you pray? And I'll be honest, I kind of froze. I was like, me? I'm just a kid. I don't know how to pray for God to heal somebody. I mean, I know God can heal people. I read about it all the time in the Bible. Just like the other day, I read a story about a man named Naaman. He had a horrible disease called leprosy. But he heard that there was a prophet of God in Israel who might be able to help him. Long story short, Elisha told him to go and wash himself seven times in the Jordan River. And if he did, his skin would be healed. It took some convincing, but as soon as Naaman obeyed, God healed him. So I know God can heal people, but I'm not a mighty prophet like Elisha. Could God really use someone like me? My dad must have known exactly what I was thinking because he said, you know, you don't have to be a pastor or an adult for God to hear you. He loves to use ordinary people to accomplish extraordinary things. And so I pray. God, please help grandpa. I know you're powerful and in control. Nothing is too hard for you. Touch his body and heal him. We trust you. Amen. I don't know exactly what God's plan is for my grandpa, but I do know this. God still heals today. And so I'm going to keep asking and keep believing for a miracle. And no matter what happens, I know that God will be with us. If there's one thing to remember today, it's this. I believe God can heal. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you here next time at the Kids Bible Vlog! Well, now that Dash has introduced us to Naaman, let's read about it in 2 Kings chapter 5. Naaman was commander of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man to his master. He had much honor because the Lord had used him to give victory to Aram. He was a mighty and brave man, but he had a harmful skin disease. The Armenians had gone out to steal from the Israelites and they had taken a little girl as a captive from Israel. The little girl served Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, I wish that my master would meet the prophet who lives in Samaria. He would heal Naaman of his disease. Naaman went to the king. He told him what the girl from Israel had said. The king of Aram said, Go now, and I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman left and took about 750 pounds of silver. He also took about 150 pounds of gold and 10 changes of clothes with him. He brought the letter to the king of Israel. It read, I am sending my servant Naaman to you. I am sending him so you can heal him of his skin disease. The king of Israel read the letter and he tore his clothes and showed how upset he was. He said, 
I'm not God. I can't kill and make alive again. Why does this man send someone with a harmful skin disease to me to heal? You, you can see the king of Aram is trying to start trouble with me. Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes. So he sent a message to the king. He said, why have you become so upset that you tore your clothes? Let Naaman come to me. Then he will know there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman went with his horses and chariots to Elisha's house, and he stood outside the door. Elisha sent a messenger to Naaman. The messenger said, Go and wash in the Jordan River seven times. Then your skin will be healed and you will be clean. Naaman became very angry and he left and he said, I thought Elisha would surely come out and stand before me. I thought he would call on the name of the Lord his God. I thought he would wave his hand over the place and heal the disease. Abana and Parfar, the rivers of Damascus, are better than all the waters of Israel. Why can't I wash in them and become clean? So Naaman went away very angry. But Naaman's servant came near and talked to him. They said, My father, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing, wouldn't you have done it? Doesn't it make more sense? Just do it. After all, he only told you wash and you will be clean. So Naaman went down and dipped in the Jordan seven times. He did just as Elisha had said. Then Naaman's skin became new again. It was like the skin of a little boy. And Naaman was clean. Naaman didn't know about our God and he'd never felt God's power before. But he really wanted to be healed. So he traveled to Israel for help. God knew that Naaman needed his help to be healed and to find out who God was. So God chose to heal the leprosy to show Naaman his power. I'm sure that after that day, Naaman always went to God when he needed help. Now let's talk about why we need healing and how God's healing power works. First of all, God wants people to have good health, but because of sin, we get sick sometimes. Now that doesn't mean that every time you're sick, it's because you did something bad. It simply means that sickness exists in the world. And it's because everybody has sinned. But God still heals people today. And all through the Bible, we can find story after story of God's healing power. See, God didn't heal every sick person in Bible times, and he doesn't heal every sick person today. But he does heal. So let's be ready for his healing power in our life. God can use anyone to help his healing. God is the healer but he uses people like you and me to help in his healing. This happens a lot. God doesn't, he doesn't usually just heal someone out of nowhere. He, he loves to include people like you and me when he heals someone, just like he included Elisha when Naaman was healed. God can heal without anyone's help if he wants to, because he's God. But God knows how powerful it is for someone to pray for a sick person and be a part of God's healing miracle. You and I were kind of like the chargers for our computers. Now, a charger has to be plugged into an electrical outlet to send the power to charge the device. We're kind of like the charger. We don't have any power to heal on our own, but God can use us to transfer his healing power to others. He can use anyone not just pastors and adults. In our Bible story, the first person who said that God could heal Naaman was a young girl. Elisha believed God wanted to heal Naaman too, but Naaman, he had to trust God for his own healing. Let's go to God for healing prayer right now. When we pray to God for healing, remember, he may heal some people today and he may choose not to heal some people today. Our faith fact reminds us that our job is to believe God can heal us and also to trust him if healing is not in his plan for us. So let's pray and ask God for his healing power. Dear God, we ask you to do what only you can do. We pray that you would heal everyone listening who has a need. We believe you can heal. Help us to continue bringing you all of our needs 
Jesus, we love you and we praise you. In your holy name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you next Tuesday.